She went immediately across the street into the Ferrucci store and picked out an entire outfit of gold lame. It was head to toe, even the damn cowboy boots. Once she was in the dressing room, a cute young butch queen opened the fitting room for her, and she took off the Annie Hall flared pantsuit as fast as she could. She put the gold lame pieces on, and even though they were all about one half size too small, the spandex or lycra or whatever it was stretched around her. She looked ridiculous, like a toddler wrapped in gold with two gold sprayed hot dogs for legs and those damn cowboy boots. She stared at herself in the mirror and wished Hector were there to hold her. She started to cry until there was a quick tapping at the door. Honey, the young boy attendant sang, you okay in there? Angel opened the door, and when she saw the boy's look of shock and awe, she could only imagine what her mascara situation was like. (gasps) You look horrible, the boy said. Angel whimpered. Oh no, that sounded harsh. I just meant to say that your makeup was running, and what is the deal? That outfit is so fresh. The gold lame was a choice and a decision, but you are working it, I'll say. You really think so? She said. She dug through her purse to look for her tissue so she could wipe at her face and blow the mocos out of her nose. I'm going to tell you what my mother tells me, the boy said. She sits me down and says, Xavier, no one should ever cry when they're wearing lame. Angel was about to blow her nose when she laughed. Well, it's my party, Angel said, and I'll cry if I want to. Oh, okay, Leslie Gore, the boy said, dripping in sarcasm. He held onto a bunch of hangers, hip out to the side, and elbow leaning on the door. You'd cry if it happened to you, too, Angel said. No, please, the boy said. I hate sing-alongs. Unless it's raining men, and then only for a bridge and chorus, so let's not do this. Angel took a seat on top of her original outfit that lay on the dressing room bench. Well, this one was being a sassy little thing. Angel didn't have the energy to argue with him. She didn't even have the energy to ask him to let her be in peace. Humidity is rising, she said. Barometer's getting low. Ugh, he said, rolling his eyes. According to all sources, the street's the place to go. Tall, Angel screamed. Blonde, dark, and lean. Okay, now you're going out of order and testing my patience, he said. Angel's laugh turned into a sob. Gosh, I hate seeing people cry.